One of my favorite things about this machine is how easy it is to switch from embroidery to sewing. All I have to do is go to the home page and tell the machine that I want to start sewing. It's going to move the embroidery unit out of my way so that I can stitch here with the embroidery unit on. Now I'm going to change the presser foot from the embroidery foot to a standard presser foot. And chances are you're going to want to change your threads. So the Ariel has what we call a quick set drop in bobbin. And there's a diagram on the bed of the machine to let you know which direction to put the bobbin in. It's going to trim my thread and the bobbin's ready to go. Now for the top thread, it's just as easy. The Ariel has what we call an automatic never miss needle threader. And there are lines here on the top of the machine to let us know where to weave the thread so that we get the perfect needle threading every time. And there it does the work for us. So you can stitch here with the embroidery unit on, but you can also take it off. The Ariel comes with a free arm cover that will turn this embroidery and sewing machine into a sewing machine. So I'm going to turn the machine off and take the embroidery unit off. And put the free arm cover on. Now the Ariel has 757 different built-in stitches. It also comes with a knee lift and it has some of the features that our top of the line sewing machines have. There's 11.25 inches of throat space to the right of the needle and it also has LED stadium lighting which illuminates up to 10 inches around your needle so that you can see everything that you need to as you're working on your projects. So let's start stitching. So as I start stitching, it's going to give me a really beautiful stitch. I can adjust the speed here on the front. And then when I get to the end of my row, I can back stitch here with the push of a button. Go forward again. I can also trim my thread and lift my presser foot. And there I have a beautiful stitch. But now I can automate some of these things as well. If I touch this button here, when I start my row, I'm going to get an automatic backstitch. And then when I finish my row, all I have to do is hit the backstitch button on the front of my machine. It's also going to give me a backstitch. And there I hit the thread trimming button and lift the presser foot. And it's going to give me the same quality stitch with a little bit less work on my part. Now I can also add in that thread trimming button. So when I get started, it's going to backstitch. And then at the end of the row, when I hit the backstitch button again, it's going to give me a backstitch and trim my thread. All I have to do is lift my presser foot. Now I can add in one more automation to this. This is called the pivot function. So when I start sewing now, it's going to give me the backstitch. And when I get to the end of the row and hit the backstitch button again, it'll backstitch for me, trim my thread, and lift the presser foot. So all I have to do is take the project out of the machine. This saves so much time and money on thread because you're not having to pull the project out, trim it with snips, or trim it here on the side of the machine. It's all done for you. Now the pivot function, the last one that we just did, also has another function to it. So if you ever have to turn a corner or if you like to work on bags or you do different types of piecing where you have to stop the project and then turn your fabric around, this is going to make it a lot easier. So when I start stitching, we're going to get that same back stitch. But if I lift my foot off of the control, then it's going to sink the needle into the fabric and lift my presser foot. So then I can turn my fabric and then put my foot down on my foot controller. It's going to lower the presser foot for me and start stitching without me having to touch anything up here or behind to lift or lower the presser foot.
And then when I hit the back stitch button when I'm done, it's gonna back stitch, trim the thread, and lift the presser foot. I love using the pivot function for chain piecing. I can adjust my stitch width, my stitch length, my shift of the needle, and my tension here all on the front of the machine. And I also have a lot of decorative stitches to choose from. Now you can combine decorative stitches and save them to the machine as well. But one of the really fun things about this machine is it has what we call diagonal sewing. So if you're working on something in particular and you need to do kind of a different type of stitch, instead of having to line up your project so that you can get it at a diagonal, the Ariel will actually stitch diagonally for you. It'll also sew to the left. Back up diagonally to the right. And back to the left to complete the box. And then we'll do a tie off, trim the thread, and lift the foot. How much fun is that? Now another really important feature of this machine is what we call the automatic fabric sensor system. What that means for you is if you like to work with a lot of different types of fabric, then you can do that without having to change any settings on your machine. So let's go back to a typical straight stitch. And with this automatic fabric sensor system, you can see here it's on. I'm going to put a couple different types of fabric through the machine. If you like to work with tulle or a satin or anything really lightweight, I'm sure that you know the struggle of having your project get pulled down into your feed dogs and then having to dig it out and then start with a different piece of fabric. Well, this automatic fabric sensor system takes all the worry away from that. This is one single piece of tissue and I'm gonna put it here into the machine. And as you can see, there's no issue with it at all. Now we're gonna go into two layers of a 12 ounce denim and follow that right there. And then I'll even fold that over so that we've got four layers of that 12 ounce denim. And get to the end, we'll do a tie off. And as you can see, it doesn't skip a stitch. It's gonna give me the same beautiful stitch on both the denim and the tissue. These are just some of the reasons to love the Baby Lock Aerial. If you have any questions, please let us know. We would love to talk with you about it.